Yeah, I, I mean, I, I wonder if I've, I, I have been hopefully providing a kind of like a safe space for academics to uh, come on and, and discuss, you know, come out of the ivory tower perhaps and discuss uh, their work, uh, mm. their, their books and so on uh, with a wider audience mm. because uh, uh, the, the guests are usually people who have something to say that is of a great interest to the wider world. Um, for example, uh, my last video I did was with uh, an academic from uh, for, who did his PhD at the University of Toronto, Dr. Michael Milliman, talking about the political philosophy yeah. of Russian philosopher uh, Alexander Dugin. And I got some serious criticism from a, a quite a, a very distinguished Muslim academic. Uh, he, he, he publicly criticized what I did. And I haven't publicly responded. Uh, and I'm, I have no plans to, except now I'm going to say that. The, the reason, the reason I felt, because he thought this is really, really bad timing to do this video because of what's going on in Ukraine, of course, because uh, Dugan is a supporter of the war, uh, Putin's action in, in Ukraine. And he thought it was appalling, basically, that I should have someone who supports Putin on my channel, you know, at such a, t at such a difficult time. And but my answer to that really, I, mean, I haven't given a public answer because, but I, I will now, but is, um, that it's always good to understand what other people are thinking, especially when you don't agree with them. Um, and that, yeah, there may be this terrible conflict going on. And I don't have an opinion, by the way, I'm not here to endorse or oppose anyone. That's kind of not my pay grade. I mean, who am I to have, <laughs> it's not the point. Um, but to understand the political and philosophical ideas that may or may not have informed Putin's mind, his own worldview, I think is a, is really important actually, because uh, we need to understand the guy and we need to understand Russian foreign policy, its aims and objectives. How do the Russian elite see the West? Um, and to actually not want to understand that, I think is, is uh, for me, incomprehensible. Why, why would we not want to understand it? Doesn't mean in understanding something or having a guest on like Dr. Milliman, uh, who is clearly sympathetic with Dugan. It doesn't mean I'm saying to the world, uh, agree with Dugan. I'm not saying I agree with Dugan on everything. I think on some things, he has some very interesting insights, to be honest. But it's so we can listen and understand what other people think and people who we really don't approve of, perhaps, like Putin, President Putin of Russia. And that's okay. We're adults. We can hopefully handle this and, and not fit, see it as a threat or something that should be shut down because there's a conflict going on. Um, and so that's my kind of my response. So I, I think, you know, having someone talking about Putin, uh, Dugan rather, from a sympathetic point of view, does not mean that we're become Putin apologists. It means we're trying to understand responsibly how they think or how they probably think about world events, which is the context in which the current war in Ukraine is, uh, Ukraine is happening. And I don't see why that's a bad thing. Mm. And if I do it impartially or objectively, which I hope I did, then what's to object to? And you know, I, I, it's, it's not a platform that's advocating Dugan or Putin. That's not what happened. That's not mm. what happened at all in the video. And no one's alleging I've done that, I think, apart from this one guy, perhaps. So um, th that was quite some very strong criticism from a senior British Muslim academic. But I, 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 I've checked out with other people who you were kind of advise me, you know, to make sure I don't do anything too stupid, um, that they thought what I did was fine, that there was nothing there to be ashamed of or to regret in any way criticized. So I stand my ground the, the video is, is fine. I think Dr. Milliman did an extremely good presentation of Dugan's philosophy. Um, it's a very, very popular video. It's, it's, it's gone, it's gone a little bit viral, you know, it's had a huge number of hits. Um, and I've only heard positive things. Uh, from people apart from this one academic who uh, basically uh, did a fairly ad hominem thing about me saying I really shouldn't have done that. Very bad. Mm. Well, there you go. But, uh, there's another thing, a lesson I have learned, by the way, um, the pain for the hard way um, is that I'm not going to please everyone all the time. Uh, there was an early stage when I got a lot of criticism over, I'm not going to go into the subject, but it was the most serious threat that I had faced in terms of the content production on, on BT. And I, I really had to think hard about what the channel is about, why I do it. Um, and I came through that and I made a statement saying, this is what the channel is about. So I'm not, I, there's some people who are not going to like what I do. That's fine by me. They don't have to watch it anyway. 
so um you know for me now it doesn't phase me hardly at all now in fact this criticism i got recently didn't phase me it was just why is he saying that why is he objecting to me having uh, a discussion on political philosophy so it was kind of cu uh, curiosity and slight disbelief why anyone would object to it mm. rather than oh my god criticized by uh this individual and i who i do respect by the way mm. and uh, does a lot of good things for the British Muslim community he's produced an excellent report recently um but and he's been a guest on the channel this is the other thing mm. and uh, uh shall I, he will be a guest again but um it doesn't phase me like it would a criticism like that no longer phases me mm.